In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a WhatsApp bot for free using Replit. This step-by-step -step guide will help you set up everything from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or have some experience with programming, this tutorial will be easy to follow and highly informative. So, let's get started and create something amazing together. Before we dive into the technical steps, let's make sure we have all the necessary requirements. First, you will need two devices. Typically, one of these devices will be your smartphone, which will be used to scan a QR code displayed on the other device, which can be another phone or a PC. This setup is essential for linking your WhatsApp account to the bot. Next, ensure you have a GitHub account. GitHub is a platform for hosting and collaborating on code. If you don't already have an account, it's quick and easy to sign up for free at github.com. Additionally, you'll need a Replit account. Replit is an online coding platform that supports various programming languages and allows you to deploy applications easily. If you haven't already, head over to replit.com and sign up for a free account. Now that we have everything set up, I'll provide a GitHub link in the description below. This link will take you to a repository containing all the necessary files and scripts for our WhatsApp bot. Click on the link to open the repository page. Once you're there, you'll notice a lot of information and files, but don't worry, we'll guide you through each step. Scroll down the page until you find the Deploy on Replit button. This is the key to making everything work seamlessly. The repository has been designed to integrate directly with Replit, making the deployment process straightforward. Click on the Run on Replit button. If you're accessing this on a mobile device, you might notice that some features don't display correctly. In such cases, tap the three vertical dots in the top right corner of your browser and toggle on the desktop mode. This ensures that all features of Replit are accessible and function properly. Once Replit opens, you'll see an option to use template. Click on this button. You'll be prompted to enter a name for your bot. Choose a unique and memorable name that you'll easily recognize. For example, I'm calling mine Basher or something that you wish. After entering the name, click on Use Template again to proceed to the next step. Now it's time to link your WhatsApp account to the bot. This step involves scanning a QR code. On your second device, open the same repository link in the description below and click Scan. And on your device, open the WhatsApp account that you want to link with the bot. Navigate to Settings by tapping the three dots in the top right corner of WhatsApp, then select Link Devices. Tap on link a device, and your phone's camera will open to scan a QR code. Position your phone's camera over the QR code to scan it. The scanning process might take a few seconds, so be patient. Once the QR code is successfully scanned, WhatsApp will link to the bot, and you'll receive a session ID. This session ID is a unique identifier that establishes the connection between your WhatsApp account and the bot. After scanning the QR code, a session ID will be sent to your WhatsApp account. This session ID is crucial for the next steps, as it allows the bot to access and interact with your WhatsApp account. Make sure to keep this session ID handy, as you'll need to enter it into the configuration file in the next step. Now, head back to your Replit account. On the left side of the screen, find and click on the config.env file. This file contains the environment variables that the bot needs to function correctly. When you open this file, you'll see several lines of code with placeholder values. The first variable you'll need to update is the VPS setting. Ensure that the VPS value is set to true. This setting tells the bot that it's running in a virtual private server environment, which is necessary for it to function correctly. Next, locate the session ID variable. Replace the default session ID value with the session ID you received in WhatsApp. This step links your specific WhatsApp session to the bot, enabling it to interact with your account. In addition to the session ID, you may want to add more environment variables to customize your bot's functionality. To find additional variables, check the wiki section under the same GitHub repository link. This section provides detailed information on various configuration options that you can use to enhance your bot. For example, you might want to set a custom sticker pack name, for instance, mine I can change to basher or configure specific commands that the bot can respond to. 
copy any variables you need from the wiki section and paste them into the config.n file. After entering all the necessary information into the config.n file, it's time to run the bot. On the right side of the replit page find and click on the run button. This action starts the bot creation process. From the top of the page, you'll see various lines of code executing in the terminal window. This process might take a few minutes, so be patient. You'll know the process is complete when you see the last sentence as external plugins installed at the end of the terminal output. This indicates that the bot has been successfully created and is ready to use. To ensure that your bot is working correctly, go to your linked WhatsApp account and type the command dot ping. If the bot responds with a message, it means the connection is successful and your bot is functioning as expected. This simple test verifies that everything is set up correctly and that your bot is ready to handle more complex commands. One important thing to note is that for your bot to keep running, you need to keep the replit page open. If you close the replit window or tab, the bot will stop working. Replit provides a convenient and free platform for running your bot, but it requires the page to remain active. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to for more awesome tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. See you next time.